been a good afternoon. Got my Gamma Swarm Magnum out here. Boom. Got me a rabbit for dinner. I'm the Dollar Sportsman. I'm the Dollar Sportsman, guys. Last week, I made a video all about how in these situations, it's really good to have a Gamo Swarm Magnum. I just got a rabbit. You can check out that video from last week about all the reasons why this thing is awesome in times when you just need to get food, right? It's the best uh, survival rifle, but right now, we just got a rabbit. We're gonna take care of it, clean it up, go have some dinner. I'm the Dollar Sportsman, and I'm really excited that you're here with me hunting rabbits in the Yamal Swarm Magnum. All right guys, we're just gonna clean this up real quick. Let's move this out of the way. I recommend that you wear gloves. All we're gonna do is take this thing, make a cut in the back, pull it apart. I'm not planning on saving the fur from this rabbit. I'm just gonna eat it. Be very careful to pull the muscle up so that you don't end up nicking anything inside the, the stomach. Because you really don't want to do that. There we go, we got all the guts right here. Now that's super gross, but that's just part of what you gotta deal with when you're a hunter. What we're gonna check for is the stomach to make sure it doesn't have any um, anything on it, any dots, anything like that. And it looks like this one's good. The next thing is the liver, which is right here, to make sure that it's healthy. And there are no white specks or marks in there, and there isn't, so that's also good. And the last thing to look for is signs of tapeworm, which is what I was trying to remember earlier, which I don't see any. So, let's get our bag here, gently pull down, make sure you got everything, and bring it on out. Just like that. So we got the guts out, I'm gonna remove the head. My truck is nasty. All right, we got our rabbit. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna start by quartering this thing. Take it with the legs. Work around the leg muscles here, all the way up the back. There we go. It should just come almost right off. All right, we got one leg there. Take the other leg and do the same thing. Just kind of cut around the natural separation along the back. You can see it basically comes right off. There we go, two legs. Because of one of my bad shots, we had a lot of hemostatic shock back here. I'm not sure that I'm gonna be able to do much with that part of the body, but usually what I would do is I would cut it right here, just right down the back. and you can grill that chunk right there on its own and it makes for really good meat. So we're gonna take the front, again, you just follow right along the ribs and it divides naturally right up into the shoulder and you have a front leg. There we go. We got two front legs, two rear legs, and then the ribs, there's really not much too. There's a little bit of muscle along this back though. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the ribs off. There we go, we have our parts that we're gonna be able to cook up. Got my grill hot, let's go ahead and throw it on there. There we go. I'm gonna let that sear for a couple of minutes, cook through and see how it goes. It's 
flip these over. Oh yeah, got a good char on them. It's exactly how I like to see it. Excellent. All right, a couple more minutes on this side. And we'll take them inside. These rabbits have had sufficient time in here. You can see they got a good char on them. Perfect, those look amazing. All right. Let's take them inside. We've got a hot pot here. Hot pot. And we've got Dr. Pepper. So bear with me, guys. What you do is we're gonna do this wing style, all right? We got hot oil. We're gonna stick these in. All right, there they go. They're all in the pot. Now, put in some DP. Now, just be careful. Don't put too much oil in there. You'll have a problem. There we go. Okay, so the whole idea behind this is they're going to slow cook in there as the Dr. Pepper slowly gets thicker and thicker. And as it gets thicker, it'll create the sauce, the barbecue sauce for these wings. Now they've already got salt on them. We're gonna add a little more salt to make sure it balances the taste properly. And uh, we're just gonna let this go for a few minutes. So I'll be back in a few and show you what happens. Now, when you're cooking and when you're in a situation where you gotta find food, there's no reason to skimp on flavor. Now I personally, I love taking a rabbit or squirrel or whatever small game that I've got and cooking it right over a fire at a campsite. It's delicious, I put my favorite dry rub on it, I douse it in olive oil first, make sure that dry rub sticks to it real good, and then it's delicious. But if you got time, if you got a kitchen, which we do here, we're gonna slow cook this, get it nice and tender, and see how it goes. I think my baby wants some of this. <laughs> or maybe she's just sleeping, I don't know. Probably that one. Okay, you see how the sauce is now caramelizing? You can tell because the bubbles aren't going away nearly as fast. It's starting to turn into mostly just the, the syrupy, sugary stuff. So these should best be just about there. I think I'm gonna give them just one more minute here and we should pull them out and see how they do. All right, let's see here. <laughs> oh yeah. Sauce. There we go. We've got Dr. Pepper Cottontail. <laughs> Let's go try this out and see how it is. Look at that. Here goes nothing, guys. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. That is good. Man, I gotta have more of that. You guys, seriously. Grill with TNT sauce, with TNT rub, rather and then just salt, red peppers, garlic, powdered garlic, and Dr. Pepper. <laughs> oh. mm. That is seriously so good. I am the Dollar Sportsman, guys. Like, subscribe, share. <laughs> it's just that good. It's just that good. Tell me about a time when you had your own wild game. What recipe did you use? How did it taste and how did you feel? Because this makes me feel really good. Get out there and hunt Gamma Swarm Magnum. 
Hades pellets. I know you guys are gonna ask me that. 22 caliber, Hades pellets, 15.89 grain. It brought this rabbit down. Yes, it did. Into my plate. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having fun. You're staying safe and healthy and strong. Go get yourself some good wild protein. It'll do you good. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you very soon. That's pretty comfortable. Let's give it a shot. Or two or 60. We're in buck territory. Get out! I'm the dollar sportsman. Yes, I'm the dollar sportsman. I'm the dollar sportsman. Having fun out here. I just enjoy all of this. Because after watching these videos, I hope you do. Yeah, buddy.